Class of 2018, born at the dawn of a new millennium, connected by technology, divided by politics, outraged by unfairness, yet all driven to make the world a better place. Here we are. As I look out among you all tonight, it's obvious that we are different. Different backgrounds, ethnicities, genders, politics, and races. We study different subjects, had different favorite teachers, and are now all headed to different futures. But this is what we have in common. Hickory High, 2018. I must say, we all got here in different ways. Some of us walked, some took the bus, some of our parents drove us, and some of us even drove ourselves. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I crashed my car on the first day of junior year, about 100 yards from the school, so unfortunately I won't be providing any driving tips tonight. <laughs> all kidding aside, the transportation we use to get us here doesn't matter. It's where we are. Hickory High itself has been our vehicle to pursue wisdom. As cliche as it may be, I ask you, think of Hickory High as a car. Our counselors are much like the windshield wipers, providing clarity, insight, and sometimes even wiping our tears. They helped navigate through bad weather when the road ahead was blurry. Our administration has been our engine. They are the horsepower behind HHS, and they are a formidable force to be reckoned with. Without an engine, a car is just a piece of metal. Our administration revs up our school and gives the students and faculty the horsepower we need to drive our speeds, to drive our dreams at any speed we want. I think of our teachers as the headlights, illuminating the horizon ahead and literally enlightening us with knowledge, wisdom, and a curiosity to see what is beyond the bend. They've taught us that a bend in the road is never the end of the road, but rather a new venue for exploration. They've encouraged us to take risks and to fail big. The best ones have taught us how to think, how to teach ourselves, and have created a joy of lifelong learning. Perhaps our teachers think of themselves as the muffler because they are exhausted at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> our tires are literally where the rubber meets the road. These are our coaches. Whether it be in athletics, arts, music, or ROTC, our coaches help guide us in all areas of our extracurricular interests. They literally ground us, and they propel us. They're also the brakes that keep us from running into the car in front of us. Our inner conscience should be the GPS that remains cheery even when we are completely lost. Life happens. We make mistakes, but our mistakes need not define us. Achieving our goals has never been a straight line. There are zigzags and swerves and sometimes even U-turns. Many times we do not even have a destination in mind, but I encourage you to drive aimlessly. Get lost. Get so lost you end up finding yourself. When we make a wrong turn, our GPS does not yell at us. It does not call us stupid and it does not evaluate our worth based on one mistake. It simply says, recalculating. <laughs> our journey through life is going to be filled with wrong turns and detours. Sometimes a wrong turn will take us down the scenic route or introduce us to new people, opportunities, and experiences. Our setbacks are not rejections, but redirections. We cannot get caught up in deciding what it was that we did wrong. We need to be focusing on the things we are going to do right. Do not be afraid of making a wrong turn. Trust your inner GPS to get you back on track. But be proactive. If you choose to spend your life in the passenger seat, you become a passive victim of circumstance. You follow someone else's plan and tag along to somebody else's dream. I implore you to get in the driver's seat. Throw away that store-bought map and draw your own. I don't want to leave out the families here tonight. Throughout the past four years, we have exasperated and worried you sick. I bet some of you wondered if today would ever come. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Our, teach, our parents and guardians and grandparents are like the airbags in our car. At their best, they are invisible and just stay out of the way until we need them. But if we crash, and there's a good chance that somewhere along the way we will. Our parents and, t and guardians and grandparents explode onto the scene, protecting us from the bruises and unfairness of life, whether it's our fault or not. And for that, we are more grateful than you will ever know. Perhaps our windshield teaches us the biggest lesson of all. 
Have you ever noticed that the front windshield is about 100 times bigger than the rearview mirror? <laughs> Let this remind us that what has happened in the past is not nearly as important as what's in our future. Beginning tomorrow, our traffic pattern will change forever. And to you, my classmates, my triple A's, thank you in advance for taking my call. That diploma we hold in our hands tonight is really just the learner's permit for the rest of our drive through life. And as it said, life is a journey, not a destination. Let's enjoy the ride. Congratulations, class of 20.